is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an applications engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I want to show you how we can update files in SOLIDWORKS Composer. Now during a design phase, engineers go through constant design changes. This means that all the technical documentation needs to be constantly updated and changed. Now I want to show you how with SOLIDWORKS Composer, how easy it is to update this doc technical documentation at any time during the design phase. Um, here I have an existing assembly of let's say Swing. Uh, this is open in Composer. Now after making all the technical documentation, uh, let's say over here we've got uh, uh, some, uh, we've got many different views. Here's a cover view, here's some details, detail views as you see we've got some work with the digger tool. Um, I've got another exploded view over here and another video with below materials. So I've done all this work and uh, it was decided that a different part or a different design was going to get used in this assembly. Let's say in this case instead of the straight slide uh, we want to use a curvy slide. Um, and um, let's make another change. Let's say uh, these blue tarps need to be replaced by some green tarps. So now you want to make all these changes in SOLIDWORKS, uh, the actual software. So you want to, you know, bring in new parts, add those mates, and all that good stuff again. Um, so once these changes are made in SOLIDWORKS, um, how can we incorporate these changes into uh, all the technical documentation that we've already done with SOLIDWORKS? So all we have to do is the new file in SOLIDWORKS uh, assembly. We save it as a .smg file, or we can also bring in the SOLIDWORKS assembly file itself. In SOLIDWORKS Composer. SOLIDWORKS Composer will convert the SOLIDWORKS file into a more Composer compatible format which is the .smg format. Now we have both these files open in uh, SOLIDWORKS Composer. In order to update this original SOLIDWORKS Composer file which we've uh, added a lot more views to, all we have to do is go to the file menu, click on update, and then click on SOLIDWORKS Composer document. It says update compose, uh, current document with another file. Uh, this brings up the browse window and uh, you can choose uh, from your new uh, .smg file. Here I'll select this file and once you do that click update and SOLIDWORKS takes a second or Composer takes a second but it goes ahead and up updates all the SOLIDWORKS documents with the new changes. And over here you can see all these different views, the cover view, the detail view, even the bill of materials, all of those have not, uh, uh, the new part has been added to all those uh, different views. So uh, this saves you a lot of time, this saves you a lot of rework that goes into updating technical documentation. Um, so yeah, in, in uh, 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 so you're uh, using SOLIDWORKS Composer, you can be, um, you know, saving a lot of time and effort and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you for watching.